Stop just playing with AI tools and start building a business with them. Today, I'm showing you how to turn Google's Gemini Storybook into a real source of income. Forget the basic tutorials. We're going deep into the stuff they don't show you. How to actually download a high quality PDF, how to get a professional physical book printed, and the secrets to navigating commercial rights. Plus, I'll walk you through five complete step-by-step -step business models you can launch this week. If you're serious about making money with your creativity, this video is your blueprint. Let's get started. All right, before we talk dollars and cents, we need to become masters of our tool. The quality of what you create is directly linked to how much you can earn. Let's start with a quick but powerful refresher on how to get the best results from Storybook with a focus on creating commercially viable content. First, let's make sure you know exactly where to find this amazing feature. One, start by going to the Gemini website at gemini.google.com. Two, on the left side of the screen, you'll see a menu. Click on the hamburger icon, three horizontal lines, to open the sidebar if it isn't already open. Three, in that sidebar, look for the option that says Storybook and give it a click. Four, and just like that, you're on the page where you can start creating your own stories. You'll see the prompt bar, and this is where the magic begins. The other tutorials will tell you to just type, create a story about, and that's fine for fun. But we're here to make money, which means we need to be more strategic. The secret to a great storybook is a great prompt. Your prompt is your creative brief to the AI. Let's break down the perfect prompt structure. I call it the CCAS method. Character, conflict, arc, and style. Character. Be incredibly specific. Don't just say, a brave knight. Say, Sir Kalen, a young, hesitant knight with a rusty sword and a secret fear of dragons, who dreams of proving his worth to his skeptical father, the king. See the difference? We've given the AI personality, motivation, and a relationship to work with. Conflict. What is the problem? He has to rescue a captured griffin. That's okay. But better is, he must venture into the Whispering Mountains to rescue a captured griffin from a cunning sorceress who uses riddles instead of spells. This gives the story tension and a unique antagonist. Arc. What is the journey or the lesson learned? The story needs a beginning, middle, and end. For example, the story should follow his journey, where he learns that true bravery isn't the absence of fear, but acting in spite of it. He should befriend a creature he initially fears, and the story should end with him returning not as a famous hero, but as a confident young man. Style. This is crucial for monetization. You need to define the visual look. Let's address one of the big questions from the comments. Creating unique styles. Instead of just cartoon style, try prompting for specific art styles. For example, illustrate the story in a whimsical watercolor style, reminiscent of Beatrix Potter. Create the illustrations in a bold, graphic novel style with dynamic angles and heavy shadows. Generate images in a soft pastel Ghibli-inspired anime style with a focus on beautiful landscapes. Let's put it all together. Now, pay close attention to this next part. I'm going to add an author's name directly into the prompt. It is absolutely essential that you change the part that says your author name here to whatever name you want to publish under and you must add an author's name. If you don't, Storybook will automatically use the name on your Google account as the author. And you probably don't want that on your final product. Look at that. The character is consistent, the art style is exactly what we asked for, and the story has a clear, heartwarming arc. This isn't just a story, this is a product. Now let's tackle some of the biggest questions I saw you guys asking. Okay, you've created a masterpiece. Now what? The comments section of other videos is filled with frustration. How do I download it? How can I print it? Can I even sell this? Let's clear all of that up right now. Issue 1. Downloading and saving your storybook. This is the number one issue people face. As of right now, Gemini doesn't have a direct download as PDF or download video button. But do not worry. Where there's a will, there's a way. Here are three solid workarounds. Method 1. The official print to pdf method this is your go-to for creating a printable book the process is very specific so follow along closely one after gemini has generated your story read through all the pages to make sure you're happy with it two at the top side where you read through the story you will see a printer icon 
click on it. 3. Be patient and wait for it to load. It's going to open a new page, which is the print preview of your book. 4. Once the new page is loaded, it's a good idea to scroll through all the pages of the book one more time to ensure everything looks correct in the print format. 5. Now, go to your browser's print options, usually by pressing Ctrl-P or Command-P, or going to File, Print. 6. In the Print Destination dialog, instead of selecting your actual printer, choose the option Save as PDF. 7. Click Save, and you now have a high-resolution PDF of your entire storybook on your computer, ready for printing or digital sales. Method 2. High-quality screenshots for individual panels. This method is perfect if you want to use the images for social media, create a video slideshow, or have more control over the layout in a program like Canva. 1. Use your computer's screenshot tool. On Windows, you can use the Snipping tool or Snip and Sketch. On a Mac, Command-Shift-4 is your best friend. 2. Draw a box precisely around each illustration or page. 3. Save each image as a high-quality PNG file. 4. Now you have individual image files for each page that you can use anywhere. Method 3. Screen recording for video content. For those of you wanting to create YouTube videos or social media reels, this is for you. 1. Use a screen recording software. OBS Studio is a powerful free option. Windows Game Bar, Windows G, and QuickTime on Mac also have built-in screen recorders. 2. Start your recording, and then slowly and smoothly click through the pages of your storybook in Gemini. You can even use the Read Aloud feature to capture the narration. 3. Once done, stop the recording. You now have a video file you can edit, add music to, and upload. This directly answers the question from the user who was already creating video books. By the way, if you're serious about creating video content with AI, you have to check out another video I made called I tried seven free AI video generators for 30 days. Here's what happened. In it, I break down the best free tools out there that can complement what you're doing here with Storybook. I'll link it in the description below. Issue 1. Printing a professional, physical book. I saw a comment on a fellow YouTuber's account about making a personalized book for a grandson, and I thought that was so heartwarming, and it highlights a huge demand. People don't just want digital files, they want a real book they can hold. Here's how you do it. Once you have your PDF file using method 1, you can use a print-on-demand POD service. Example includes Printful, Printify. These services are amazing because you don't need to buy hundreds of books up front. You can order just one for personal gifts. Services like Lulu, Blurb, or even local print shops are fantastic. You just upload your PDF, choose your book type, hardcover, softcover, and they'll print and ship a professional quality book directly to you or your loved one. Imagine the look on your grandson's face when he gets a book where he is the main character. For selling commercially, if you want to sell your books, Amazon KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing is the king. You can upload your PDF and your book will be listed for sale on Amazon worldwide. When someone buys it, Amazon prints it and ships it for you. You don't touch any inventory. We will dive deeper into KDP in our monetization section. Issue 3. Commercial rights and copyright, the million dollar question. This is the big one. Can I legally sell this? What about copyright? As per Google's current terms of service for generated content, you are generally allowed to use the output for commercial purposes. However, and this is a huge disclaimer, you must read the most up-to-date Google Generative AI terms of service. They can and do change. I am not a lawyer, and this is not legal advice. Here's the key takeaway. The text and images you generate are generally yours to use. However, you cannot copyright the AI's output in the same way you would your own human-created art. This means others could potentially generate very similar images. So, how do you protect your business? You build a brand. Your value isn't just in one book. It's in your unique story ideas, your curation, your marketing, and the brand you build around your creations. Don't worry about competitors. Focus on creating quality and connecting with an audience. Issue 4. Story length and advanced topics. I saw comments asking about making stories longer or creating books for older audiences, like a textbook. Yes, you can. For longer stories, creating chapters, Gemini Storybook has a page limit, 15 pages to be exact. To get that 15 pages, you must state it in your prompt. To create a longer book, think in chapters. 
1. Create chapter 1 as one complete storybook with a clear ending point. 2. Then, start a new storybook. In the prompt, you'll say, this is chapter 2 of the story of Sir Keelan. In the previous chapter, he rescued the griffin. Now, create a storybook where the sorceress seeks revenge by. 3. Be sure to describe the characters and art style again to maintain consistency. You can then combine the PDFs from each chapter into one larger book using a free online PDF merger tool. You can use Canva to merge them together. Canva allow you to upload PDF, by the way. You can also create tutorials, explain scientific concepts, summarize historical events. The possibilities are endless and highly monetizable. Part 3. The Blueprint. Five proven ways to make money with Gemini Storybook. All right, you're now an expert on the tool and you've overcome the technical hurdles. It's time for the main event. Let's talk about how to turn this skill into a source of income. Monetization strategy one, the personalized gift market with high profit margins. This is my favorite starting point because the emotional value is sky high. People will pay a premium for custom gifts. The product, create one of a kind storybooks for birthdays, anniversaries, or holidays. The story features the child or even adult as the main character, including their name, friends, and maybe even a pet. How to sell Etsy. This is the perfect platform. Create a listing for a custom personalized storybook for kids. Use mock-ups to show what the final product looks like. When you get an order, you'll get the child's details from the buyer. Create the story in Gemini, generate the PDF, and then use a PHOD service like Lulu or Blurb to print and ship it directly to the customer. Local Facebook groups. Market your services in local parent and community groups. Offer a special local price. This is a fantastic way to get your first sales and reviews. Pricing. Don't underprice. You're selling a custom, emotional product. A price point of $40 to $60 for a custom hardcover book is very reasonable. After printing and shipping costs around $15 to $20, D, that's a fantastic profit margin. Monetization Strategy 2. Self-publishing on Amazon, KDP. This is for those of you who want to build a more passive income stream. You create the book once, and it can sell for years. The product. Create niche children's books. Don't just make a generic book about a bear. Think specific. The little koala who was afraid to climb addresses childhood fears. My first trip to the dentist prepares kids for new experiences. Educational series. Amazing animals of the Amazon. The science of volcanoes. Etc. How to sell. 1. Create your book in Gemini and use the official print-to-PDF method to get your file. 2. Design a compelling cover. You can use an illustration from the book and add a title using a free tool like Canva. 3. Go to kdp.amazon.com, create a free account, and follow the steps to upload your PDF and cover. 4. Write a good title, description, and choose relevant keywords so people can find your book. 5. Set your price. Amazon will show you your estimated royalty per sale. Click Publish. The key to success, volume and niche selection are key. The more high-quality targeted books you publish, the better your chances of making consistent sales. Monetization Strategy 3. Creating content packages for niche markets. Think beyond just books. A storybook can be the centerpiece of a larger product. The product. Create a downloadable thematic unit or activity pack. For example, for a story about a dinosaur, you could create a package that includes the storybook PDF a coloring book version. Prompt Gemini. Recreate the illustrations from my last story, but as simple black and white line art for a coloring book. Educational worksheets, e.g. a dinosaur word search, a matching game. You can use Gemini to help you create these too. How to sell. Teachers pay teachers, an amazing platform for selling educational resources to teachers and homeschoolers. Etsy. Digital downloads are hugely popular on Etsy. Your own website, using a simple platform like Gumroad or Payhip. Monetization Strategy 4. YouTube and Social Media Content Creation. This is a direct monetization route through ad revenue and sponsorships. The product. You're creating video content. Read aloud story channels. Use the screen recording method to create videos of your stories. The AI narration is good, but for a personal touch, record your own voiceover. Kids content does incredibly well on YouTube. TikTok, Instagram Reels, create short 15 to 30 second videos showing the most beautiful page from a story with some trending audio. This can drive traffic to your KDP books or Etsy shop. 
How to monetize. YouTube Partner Program. Once you reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you can monetize your channel with ads. Affiliate Marketing. Put links to your Amazon KDP books in your video descriptions. Monetization Strategy 5. Freelance Storyteller for Hire. This is an unconventional but potentially lucrative angle. The service, you are selling your skill as a creative prompter and AI artist. Who are your clients? Small businesses. A local bakery could hire you to create a short storybook about their gingerbread man mascot for their website. Nonprofits. The user from the comments is already doing this. You could offer your services to create simple, engaging educational materials. Aspiring authors. Someone might have a great story idea, but no illustration skills. You can partner with them to bring their vision to life. How to sell. Market your services on freelance platforms like Fiverr or Upwork. Create a portfolio of your best storybook creations to showcase your skills. Conclusion. Your imagination is the only limit. We've covered a lot today. We've gone from the basics of writing a killer prompt to solving the technical problems of downloading and printing. And we've laid out five concrete, actionable business models you can start today. What Google has given us with Gemini Storybook is more than just a fun feature. It's a key. It's a tool that has smashed the barriers of technical skill, time, and money that used to stand in the way of creation. The old excuses of, I can't draw, or I can't afford an illustrator, are gone. The only thing left is your creativity, your unique ideas, your passion. I am genuinely so excited to see what you all create. Will you build a personalized gift empire on Etsy? Will you become a best-selling children's author on Amazon? Will you create educational content that helps kids fall in love with learning? The path is there. The tool is in your hands. Now, it's your turn to tell your story. Let me know in the comments which of these monetization ideas you're most excited to try. Let's share our ideas and build a community of creators right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you got value from this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of creativity. And don't forget to check out my other video, I tried seven free AI video generators for 30 days, especially if you're planning on turning these stories into video content. Now go on, get creating. I'll see you in the next one.